Yo, what up, y'all? It's Corey Real Estate Guy, and I want to show you a very quick way to save some money uh, in order to buy a house, okay? And it's a very practical way. I know the last post I had was savings uh, and FICO score buildup. So let me show you an example of the power of saving in one thing that you do a week, okay? For those of you that do this, on a regular and it's a very common thing, but for one thing that you do a week, I can show you how you can save for your down payment in a year, all right? So, down payment saving strategy one, stop ordering food deliveries, okay? As you can see here, it's a bunch of math. I used to be a math teacher before I got into real estate, so forgive me for that. Those of you that uh, do math all the time, make sure I'm writing what I'm talking about, all right? So, let's say for instance, I order Food, DoorDash, Uber, and I do it four times a week, which is pretty common, especially if you order while you're at work or if you're ordering now during the coronavirus, four times a week is pretty normal. And the price of food, as we all know, when you order, the price is higher than when you would actually go to the store. So say, let's say I buy a meal for me and my family or whatnot. It's $25 just for the food alone. Fee is $2, tax is $3, and if you tip, leave a $2 tip. That one order, $32, $32 for one order. Don't sound like much for one time, but if I do that four times a week, that's $128 a week, okay? And now it became a bill. Now, if I take that same 128 and I do it 52 times, that's once a week for a whole year, that comes out to $6,656 a year, all right? $6,656 a year, okay? That is one thing. Now, let me go to somewhere else real quick and then we'll get back to that. Say I don't have very much money to save and I currently save only $100 a month. That's all I can do, okay? If I want a house, say I want a $200,000 house, $200,000 house. And I'm talking FHA. So an FHA uh, down payment is 3.5%. That's what the borrowers are responsible to bring. Okay? So a $200,000 house, if I take $200,000 and divide it by 3.5%, that gives me $7,000. Right? $7,000 I have to save up. If I take that same $7,000 and $100 a month for one year is $1,200. Okay? That's how much I saved in one year. That 7,000 divided by that 1,200 is going to take me almost six years, six years to save the amount of money for my down payment. That's not including anything that happens. It's not including any hardships. That's just $100 a month. That's all I can save. Uh, and so it's going to take me six years to get a down payment for a $200,000 house. Uh, it's going to save me six. It's going to take me six years if I save $100 a month. Now, back to our other scenario. If I couple, okay, if I couple this sick, this $100 a month, which comes out to $1,200 a year, if I couple that with this savings that I have for a year of not eating out, I add those two together, I now have $7,856 in the bank for a down payment, and it took me one year, okay? Now, let's do some simple math, okay? Uh, now... This is um, called a, man, I forgot the math term. I ain't gonna lie to you. I feel horrible about it because I used to teach my students. Uh, but it'll come to me in a second, okay? If you know what it is, just leave a comment and tell me what this is. I don't know the information. Or I don't know what the name of it is, but I know how to work it because I know how to work math, all right? So I take $7,856, put that over X, okay? All right? This represents 100% of what my house would cost. This is 3.5%, which is my down payment. I cross multiply. That's what this is down here. 7,856 times 100, 3.5 times X. All right? This is cross multiplying. This is simple math, all right? I do the same thing over here, and I start solving, right? This times this give me $785,600, uh, and it's over 3.5 because now I'm trying to get X by itself, okay? Don't pay too much attention to that. Pay attention to what you're about to see. If I take this large number here and I divide it by 3.5%, this gives me a total of $224,457.
with this down payment being this amount from you taking one year to stop eating food out four times a week, you save that amount plus what you originally saved for $100. You add that together in one year, you have a down payment for a home that costs $224,000. One year, okay? Just the power of saving. So it's a saving strategy one. I'm gonna come up with another strategy for you tomorrow so you can see the power of saving just one thing. You can still live your normal life, but if you are serious about buying a home, there are ways to do it. It's quarter real estate guy talking about savings.